everyone. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. My name is Lily and I'm excited to get into some taste tests today. Now, if you haven't watched my last video about my new barista creations shopping haul from Nespresso, please feel free to watch that first. I do go into a little bit more of the flavor profiles of each pod in that last video. But today, because my last taste test was a couple of original line pods, um, I'm going to do both of the Virtua pods today for you Virtua lovers. And these are the only two Virtua pods that I got in my last haul and these are both barista creation pods one is the whiskey essence pod which is supposed to be a double espresso pod with more of those liquor alcohol notes um and then this one is the eight ounce vanilla uh sweet vanilla pod that's supposed to be like a revamp i guess of the vanilla custard pie pod that they had before and both of these are supposed to be a medium roast so we'll we'll get into them and try them i will preface this by saying that i did make tj and tried a little bit of it I did try the um, this recipe that I did with this pod. It was a whiskey espresso martini. And if you guys want that recipe, I'll put it down below. But it was really good. I mixed some screwball peanut butter whiskey with this pod, as well as some Kahlua and um, this espresso pod. And it was, it was really good. Okay, guys, definitely if you want a nightcap, try that out. But today we're going to do a non-alcoholic beverage with this. I've yet to try it in a coffee form without the uh, liquor in it. And then we'll try this as a hot coffee. Maybe I'll ice it when I let it cool down later in the video, but we'll, we'll do it like that. So let's try this one first and let's get into it. Okay, so I just brewed the pod and right off the bat, I'm getting a lot of like fruity and a little bit of like how you would smell like a, like a whiskey. Like it, would, it smells like whiskey. It's very like aromatic, kind of like has that astringent smell that you would with alcohol, but there's not supposed to be any alcohol in the pod, okay. Oh, okay, let's, let's try it. Wow. You know how like when you taste alcohol, you taste like those tannins, that astringent flavor in the alcohol. This is like, this is it to a T. That is so interesting. It almost smells or tastes like, um, like a, a smoked like hickory oak almost. It's, it's very weird and it's pretty weird to have when you're tasting coffee. I've never tasted anything like this before. Wow. That is, it's very fruity. I will say it is very fruity and again, very astringent, like those tannins. So I'm trying to think, okay. So I'm trying to think of some flavors, like some syrups that I would do to pair with this, but on its own, it's really not bad. It's straight up medium roast. I would say it's probably like medium to dark. I don't know if it's just because of the astringent taste that makes it a little bit more bitter. It's supposed to be very well balanced. Um, I don't know if I would say it's very well balanced, but I do think it's, it's a pretty good pod. And I wouldn't drink this straight up like this. This is not my preference. But usually the Barista Creations line, despite this being a limited edition pod, usually they ask you to pair it with milk. So I have warmed up some vanilla soy milk that I'm going to pair in a mug with this and we'll see how that tastes and then i want to try to see some like syrups that i want to pair with it and give that a review too very different very different okay let's pair it with some milk okay so i mix my espresso with some of that soy milk that i warmed up so it's warm latte let's give it a try I'm getting more of the nutty flavors that they're talking about when I pair it with the vanilla soy milk. So that's really interesting. I love that. Other than that, I can still very much taste the astringent and tanniny nature of the pod, the very like alcoholy nature of the pod in the in the latte despite the milk. So that's pretty impressive. Still very fruity. I love that. I think, honestly, just having it with that vanilla soy milk is pretty awesome. I, I, I'm very impressed. This is a good pod. I like this pod. I didn't think I was going to like this pod outside putting it in an alcoholic beverage, but I would say if you're hesitant about it, go for it. I know it's definitely like one of those weird pods, kind of like the exotic Laminha pod and stuff that, you know, you might need an acquired taste to. Again, I like really weird pods. I like really complex pods. So stuff like Rio de Janeiro in the original line, stuff like Exotic La Minha in either of the lines, I really like those. 
So bear that in mind if you're not really one to like like weird pods or like a distinct flavor, maybe go for like one of the flavor pods that we're going to be discussing later that are a little bit less intense in the flavor, but give that nice little like sweetness in the pod or just try one of your regular like uh, Italiano lines in the original line or like double espresso dolce or double espresso scuro in the virtual line. But I, I highly recommend this. I think I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. I would give it like a 9.5, but I will say I don't think this is going to be a fan favorite for maybe a lot of people. Like if you if you like to drown out your coffee taste in milk and syrup, this is definitely not going to be pod for you. But I don't mind the taste of the coffee in the pod. I think it tastes really good. So that's why I'm giving it a 9 out of 10. Um, and TJ also really likes this pod. He's not able to be in the video today, but I know he really likes this pod based on, because I think I made him a latte with it without trying it, and then I also made him an espresso martini, so that's going to be good. In terms of flavor, I think I'm going to pair this with like a honey and almond syrup. So I'm going to do that real fast and give you guys a little bit of a review of that recipe. So I just put like a little bit of honey, probably half a tablespoon of honey in here with one pump of the sugar-free almond syrup that I have from Tarani. If you guys are interested in purchasing that, um, I'll put it down below for you guys to buy or try or whatever you may want. So I'm going to try this. We'll see how it tastes. Wow. That, y'all, this is so good. This is like... If, if, you're, if it's in the rain, you know, and, and it's raining outside and, and you're having like a hot drink like this, this is literally so good. I'm sorry. And that says something because I'm really not a big fan of the almond syrup that I have. I'm going to be completely honest with you. So that is really good. I don't think it's going to be half as good iced. Um, this recipe that I concocted here, but um, I will let this sit for a bit and try it like that just to give you a review. I do like honey lattes um, iced as well. The almond syrup, I'm not a big crazy fan of when it's iced, so we'll see. I think the whiskey pod could taste good iced as well, so we'll, we'll put this over ice in just a second. In the meantime, I'm going to try the sweet vanilla pod wash my palette down with some water and we're going to try it in a reverso and i think i discussed that in my last video i figured out what a reverso was because they, they recommended it like that as one of the ways to have it on the box and i guess it's like putting the the milk on the in the cup first and then pouring the coffee into it i hope i get the measurements right because i don't want the coffee to start overfilling in one of these mugs but i'm gonna warm the milk up first and then we're, we're gonna go um I think, you know what, to keep the integrity of the pod, I'm going to brew the pod first, try it without any milk, and then I'll maybe like pour the coffee on top of the warm milk to kind of simulate the reverse. So we'll see, we'll figure it out as we go, but I'm excited to try that one next. So let's get into it. Okay, so I just poured the sweet vanilla pod into this pitcher. I think it'll make it easier when I pour the coffee right into the milk, but I'm gonna try right out of the pitcher because of that, um, and we'll, we'll see how it tastes, so. Right off the bat, I'm getting definitely like once you get a little bit closer to the coffee, definitely smell that vanilla. Wow, that's really impressive. Um, I will say I did try the Nociola pod um, a few days ago, just once in a hot drink and a cappuccino like they recommended it. This is a sneak peek for the next taste test. Man, that was, the, arom the aromaticity coming from the Nociola pod was just insane. It was so good. Um, it was such a good pod. I'll review that later. But I will say it's less aromatic than that pod. Um, usually when it's hot, it gets pretty, like, you know, smelly, sweet. Um, definitely not getting as much vanilla as I expected from it. But when you lean in, you can definitely smell it. Wow, that's so different. Okay, so right as it hits your tongue, you're definitely getting that vanilla taste, which I don't know if it's just because I'm smelling it and that's influencing what I'm tasting or what, but definitely tastes a little bit like vanilla. And when it hits the back of your palate, it's like there's a little bit of nutty taste as it's going down. I definitely think this is great with milk. Like just right off the bat, I think it's going to be great, which is probably why they recommend it like that. But I, I like this pod. 
It's definitely like a little bit earthy as well. I think it's really good though. I think that this is just a plain medium roasted coffee. I can't really compare it too much to the vanilla custard pie because I don't believe that I've tried that one, unfortunately. But I think this is really good. Um, when I tried the caramel cookie a while back, I wasn't really getting any of that caramelly taste. I mean, maybe you guys did and I just didn't pick it up. Again, mine was from the advent calendar, so maybe it was an older pod. But I, I really wasn't a fan of it, and that kind of made me not want to go for the Barista Creations pods, those 8-ounce ones. But this is really good, and I'm, I think this is probably an upgrade. I heard some people trying the chocolatey one on TikTok, um, the new chocolate um, Barista Creations one that's supposed to revamp the um, fudge one, I think. And they really said it was a revamp, so I believe it. I think this is really good, and I think with milk, this is going to be even better. So let's try it with some milk, and um, we're going to try it in reverso fashion, and I'll tell you guys how it tastes. So I really tried to make this into a reverso, but um, I guess the froth milk just kind of went to the top. So maybe I'll just try it with cold milk next time. But it looks really pretty. There is some separation going on because, again, I use the soy milk. That's what happens with alternative milks. But I think that this looks really appetizing. I love that. So let's give it a try. I'm not crazy about it with this milk. Um, I was, I'm surprised by that because I did use a vanilla soy milk. So I thought that that would really bring out the vanilla flavor, but they lost me with it. They lost me. I'm not getting that really vanilla taste anymore. Like if I just taste the milk on top, definitely vanilla, but I'm trying to get more of the coffee on the bottom, which is why I'm leaning it up so far when I'm drinking it. Not really getting it. Sorry guys, that's not it. It's fine. It's a fine cup of coffee. Um, definitely, like, if you want to get more of that vanilla flavor, you know, try it. Try it on its own. But I think this is really good. Um, so, obviously, like, you know, Barista Creations with milk, um, going to be a great combo overall. I think, personally, I think I'm going to try it with the French vanilla syrup that I have from Tarani. It is sugar-free. Again, I can link it in my description below. And then I'll give you my review of the pod. Okay. I added a couple pumps of the Tarani syrup. <laughs> Let's give it a drop. Yeah, I think it's a good pod. Um, this is definitely something I would buy again, just as like a regular medium roast that I'd have every single day. I think this would be great in a nice coffee. I don't think even with the vanilla syrup, it could just be because this is a French vanilla sugar-free one, but I don't think the vanilla flavor is so prominent that it's gonna like ruin any other flavor combo that you're gonna put in here with syrup. So that means very flexible. If you like a variety of different syrups in your coffee every morning, like let's say, one day you're, if you're like me, like one day I'm wake up and I'm like, ooh, I want a butter pecan like iced coffee today. Or I want like a, like a black sesame iced coffee. Like I do some weird stuff sometimes. So this is a great iced coffee base, kind of like the Vivita pot, I think. Great iced coffee base um, to put with any syrups that you would like. I feel that way about this pod, the uh, Vivita pod, like I just said, and the Audacia pod that they have. I think those are all great medium roasts that don't really have a huge flavor profile to ruin any of the syrups you put in it. Um, I think what's gonna be a great combo is making this iced with a couple pumps of the French vanilla syrup that I just did and some of the vanilla um, creamer that I have from Tabani. That's gonna be a fantastic combo, made in heaven. And um, I'll probably put that on my TikTok in the next couple of days. So definitely feel free to check that out. Honestly, I'm gonna make this a plain seven. I think this is really good. Don't think it's bad. Um, I would probably buy it again if I was just wanting a plain barista creations pod. I'm interested to see if like the new revamped hazelino muffin or the chocolate one is gonna be really like up there to the point that like I can really only pair it with hazelnut syrup and or chocolate syrup or a chocolate related type of syrup. So we will see. Um, I'm gonna try to let both of these cool down and then try it iced for you guys because you guys already know I'm more of an iced fan for coffees. So we're gonna put these in an iced coffee in just a second. This is still very warm. Maybe the other one cooled down a little bit, but uh, we'll put an iced coffee and we'll give my final tallies. But so far, hot anyway. Whiskey Essence is gonna be a nine and the vanilla, um, sweet vanilla pot is gonna be a seven. 
Okay, so the whiskey essence paw definitely cooled down a little bit, so I did add some ice to it. Oh my god! Wow! That is banging. How do they do this? This is so good. Like, even with that little bit of honey and that one pump of almond syrup, that is just so good. I'm sorry, y'all. This ice, especially because it took away some of that, like, astringent taste that might be more of an acquired taste for a lot of people. I think this is, like, a, a 9.5. This is amazing. Could be this recipe. But this is so flipping good. Wow. I really like that. A1. Okay. So crazy about that pod definitely like you know i might have to restock on that um and i'm sure tj feels the same way before the limited edition stuff is done and um now let's see the vanilla the sweet vanilla pod um ice i keep wanting to say the vanilla custard pie pod definitely not that one sweet vanilla pod ice we're gonna do that next so i added a little bit of ice to this let's try it so I'm now getting a little bit of the vanilla that was in the milk, but overall, again, plain medium roast. I don't think that this was watered down too much by the ice, which is good with a medium roast because you can have it in an iced coffee and still very much taste the coffee taste. Yeah, I'm going to bump this up to, I'm going to bump this up to an eight just because like usually I like to have my coffees with creamer um, and maybe like one pump of the syrup that I have um, that I think match well with it. And I think just with milk and a couple pumps of the syrup, like that's pretty impressive to taste this good. So I'm gonna bump it up to an eight. I like this pod, again, very plain. I don't think that this is like a must have, but I don't think that this is a disappointment if you choose to buy it. So it's really just depending on you. Um, again, whiskey essence might be more of an acquired taste, but I really, really like it. I think if you guys like alcohol, if you like whiskey, if you like a medium roasted coffee, you're really gonna like that. So those are the final tallies. So excited that I got to share these taste tests with you guys today. It means a lot to have you guys on my TikTok and on my YouTube uh, comments telling me that you're excited for the taste test as well as just telling me what pods you want to um, or you want me to taste test. I know a lot of people are apprehensive about the Whiskey Essence pod at first, so I'm glad that I got to give a beaming review about it. Definitely think that it's worth giving a shot to, especially because it's limited edition. I think the sweet vanilla will probably be on as a staple for a while. So feel free to wait on that one and try the whiskey essence one at first. But yeah, um, I'll also link the recipe for both of these pods that I use today in the description below as well as syrups. If you're looking for any syrup recommendations, feel free to check out my coffee syrups video that I did a few um, videos back and I'll put any discount codes that I have for syrups as well as the new Cometeer coffee order that I got. Feel free to use that link to get more Cometeer coffee. Um, I will be probably doing a Cometeer coffee review next and or the original line um, review next, the taste test. So we will, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, if you guys have any requests for which one you want first, please let me know in the comments or on any of my social media platforms. And I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye guys. Thank you.